A glance back at where we have been is a good compass for the future. As we have glanced back over the years, we are filled with gratitude for what you have done for Monroe Regional Medical Center. Join us as we walk through the Foundation's tremendous accomplishments while focusing 100% on Monroe's mission of serving our patients with quality and compassionate care. In the spring of 1985, five civic-minded men, W.M. Palmer Jr., Richard Chazelle, Bob Schwab, Harry Mangaran, and Stanley Malever, met and agreed to develop plans for an ambitious project, establish a fundraising arm of Monroe Regional Medical Center. Its mission would be to assist the hospital to ensure the availability of modern technology that would meet the needs of residents current and future, as capital and equipment needs continue to increase. In the 28 years since then, the Monroe Foundation has done exactly that and much more. On October 15, 1985, it was officially chartered with Whit Palmer, serving as chair, and the first pillars of Monroe Appeal was started. Two years later, Dick Chazelle assumed leadership of the board, and the board voted to raise funds for cardiac cath and open heart surgery services, now known as Monroe Heart. This year, 2013, marks the 25th anniversary of the cardiovascular program at Monroe. Very early in 1987, the Pillars of Monroe was designed to be a foundation for an annual giving club that continued through 2012. Pillars of Monroe and Friends of Monroe afforded donors the opportunity to make a small or mid-sized gift. In 1988, the Cradle Roll was created and installed near the nursery. Today, the Cradle Roll lists 739 names of babies born at Monroe. The Legacy Society was also started during this time. Steve Gray became the third chairman of the board in 1989, and during that time, the Ed Keaton Lecture Series was started, with C. Edward Koop, M.D., as its first speaker. During the course of the lecture series, celebrities such as country singer Naomi Judd, actress Ann Gillian, and artist Mary Fisher spoke about such important health issues as hepatitis, breast cancer, as well as HIV and AIDS. During the 1990s, Chairman Bob Barnett, Dr. Norman Anderson, and Connie Brown led the Foundation Board. Projects included the dedication of the chapel, the Betty Stein Nursing Library, a full-time chaplain, and an elegant 100th anniversary dinner party at the Pioneer Garden Club. 300 honored guests enjoyed a historical perspective of 100 years of service to the community made possible through major gifts from the Whit Palmer and Harvey Klein family, our Palmer Klein Children's Express opened in 1997. Bob Little had the task of chairing the foundation board as it started its largest capital campaign to date. The $5 million Building on Excellence campaign was to help fund the construction of the new South Tower. The South Tower was designed to house a wing dedicated to the cardiovascular program, which would include cath labs, operating rooms, and a cardiovascular ICU. In addition, the tower would add 156 private rooms, the Johnson and Palmer lobbies, and the expansion of the intensive care unit on the third floor. The fundraising effort for the South Tower continued under the chairmanship of Frank Raspberry. The new $86 million South Tower would open in 2003, and the campaign of $5 million was completed with donated, pledged, and planned gifts during Lois Johnson's term as chair. Women in Philanthropy was established in 2001 under the leadership of Lois Johnson. With a goal of funding projects that benefited women's and children's services at Monroe, Women in Philanthropy changed its name to the Women's Giving Circle of Monroe in 2010. The Giving Circle raised $436,000 since its inception and purchased fetal monitors, scales, and warmers for the nursery, and new scales for the pediatric unit. In 2007, Monroe became the only hospital in Marion County to provide obstetric services. The Women's Giving Circle funded two pre-screening labor rooms to help ease the crowding in the labor and delivery area. 
a holiday fundraiser, Stressless, became an annual event and helped take the stress out of the holidays by providing helpful cooking, shopping, and packaging ideas to attendees. In 2012, If the Shoe Fits event honored Marion Montaneri with the Glass Slipper Award for her work and advocacy for women and children in Marion County. The Women's Giving Circle's last gift was an exam room in the new Children's Emergency Department. In 2004, the third annual Heart of Gold Golden Ocala Gala was held at Golden Ocala Golf and Equestrian Club, with the surprise highlight of the event being a donation of $1 million by Mr. and Mrs. Larry Roberts Sr. Their generous donation purchased a mobile MRI for Monroe. In 2005, changes were in store for the Monroe Foundation as it moved to a new office location. The foundation became a department of the hospital and a new executive director, Beth McCall, was hired. Terry Crawford served as chairman of the board of directors during the transition and was instrumental in encouraging community leaders to serve on the foundation board of directors. The first meeting of the new board was held on January 17, 2006. The new board's purpose was to raise funds for capital projects and nursing scholarships for Monroe Regional Medical Center. The board adapted criteria for becoming a board member, including a $1,000 annual contribution. Because of the generosity of the foundation board members, they exceeded the expected contributions. Not only has the board been successful in raising funds, but they are tremendous advocates and ambassadors for our community hospital. The Monroe Fellowship and the Corporate Honor Roll were established in 2007. These special gift clubs were created to encourage major gifts to Monroe. Charter membership included 33 couples and individuals in the Monroe Fellowship and 16 businesses and corporations who pledged $1,145,000 over five years. Membership grew over the next five years to 48 Monroe Fellowship members and 23 businesses and corporations. The first annual Flavors of Monroe, Cinco de Mayo, was held at Golden Ocala Golf and Equestrian Club in April of 2006. Flavors of Monroe became a fundraiser that the community looked forward to each year. It featured area chefs with their finest cuisines prepared around the themes of the evening. A Caribbean delight, Meet Me in Paris, Hawaiian Nights, Out of Africa, An American Adventure, and Under the Golden Sun pleased our palates all the while raising funds for capital projects for Monroe. The highlight of Flavors of Monroe came in 2011 when $416,340 was raised to help construct the Children's Emergency Department. The evening began with a signature gift from the Jet Travolta Foundation and culminated with another signature gift from Signature Brands. In 2007, we met a very special grateful patient. A wonderful couple graced the doors of the Foundation to share their outstanding experience at Monroe and to make a legacy gift that would fund nursing scholarships in perpetuity. Angelica and Burl Munns were so thankful for the compassionate and quality care that Burl received while he was a cardiovascular patient here at Monroe. Angelica was a nurse in the Air Force during World War II. She had received her BSN and wanted to help guarantee that Monroe would always have quality nurses. She established the Angelica G. Munns Scholarship Fund, a $750,000 endowment for nursing scholarships. Her dream was to provide scholarships for RNs and BSNs. This year, 2013, her dream will come true when the first BSN scholarship recipient is granted funding through a subsidiary of the Munns Scholarship Fund, the Therese McPherson Memorial Scholarship. The Monroe Auxiliary has been an exemplary partner with the Foundation, always mirroring the hospital's mission statement. In addition to the hundreds of thousands of volunteer hours they donate to Monroe, saving the hospital three to four million dollars every year, they manage the hospital's gift shop, uniform store, and several fundraising events, thus allowing them to contribute hundreds of thousands of dollars annually towards a highlighted capital project. They helped fund the employee and volunteer parking garage during the Building on Excellence campaign, and most recently they made signature gifts to the Emergency Department Waiting Room Expansion and the Operating Room Expansion. In their 36 years of history, the Auxiliary has given Monroe Regional $3.8 million. 
The employees have also been generous contributors over the years. The Initiatives for Tomorrow, or IT Team, has played an integral part in fundraising for Monroe Regional. The staff is the front line for creating grateful patients, but many employees also give back through their financial gifts. The employees have contributed to every capital campaign, and during the Building on Excellence campaign, they reached a 90% participation level. One of the exam rooms in the Children's Emergency Department was named in honor of the Monroe Associates. Each year we honor our 10, 15, and 20 plus year donors at a breakfast, as well as thank them with themed events throughout the year. These 800 plus IT team members contribute over $150,000 annually. In 2007, Club 36, a social club from Del Webb Spruce Creek Golf and Country Club, under the leadership of Jerry and Linda Concours, hosted the inaugural Club 36 golf tournament, which would benefit Monroe. The next five years, they raised $200,000 for capital projects. Through this five-year partnership, many strong relationships were built with Del Webb Spruce Creek residents, and they became strong advocates for Monroe Regional Medical Center. Grateful patients have been making contributions to the Monroe Foundation since the foundation was established. Whether it is purchasing a tribute brick for the walkway at the front of the hospital, a memorial or honorarium tile for the wall in the hallway of the Palmer Lobby, leaving a legacy gift, or honoring a physician, caregiver, or volunteer through the Caring Hands program, many people want to say thank you for the care they or their loved ones received at Monroe. The labyrinth was constructed with funds from a family who were grateful for their wife and mother's care. A $20,000 gift was recently received in honor of our ICU staff for the compassion they gave to a patient and his family. The foundation has been honored to facilitate these gifts, but the gifts only come because of the quality and compassion extended by our Monroe employees. The foundation funded Monroe's palliative care rooms, a new nursery area, isolate or incubators for the nursery, portable EKGs, as well as other equipment needs. All of these needs are very important, but there are three crown jewels that stand out among all other capital items funded by the foundation. The operating room expansion, the Monroe Regional History Wall, and the Children's Emergency Department. In 2008, planning began for the expansion of the operating rooms. Under the leadership of Craig Curry, the foundation was asked to raise $3 million for the project. As the ground was broken, the foundation board was excited about their development plan to raise the requested funds. A signature gift was secured from Harold and Opal Plumley for the surgical waiting room, and their gift kick-started the momentum for others to pledge significant gifts to complete the project. Three new state-of-the-art operating rooms and a new post-anesthesia care unit were constructed as renovations began for the beautiful Plumley Surgical Waiting Room. A grand opening was held on March 10, 2010. Donors were hosted to a reception and tour of the operating room expansion, while Harold and Opal Plumley were honored for their tremendous contributions. In an effort to showcase the rich history of Monroe Regional, Dr. Harry Edwards led a fundraising campaign with the objective of creating a history wall within the medical center. The history committee, led by Dick Chazelle, was tasked with determining how to showcase the history. Committee members Roger Baldus, David Lee Skipper, David Cook, and Helen Dalton met with Dick Chazelle weekly to put the pieces together. Bill Chambers was the chairman during this time and took special pride in the wall. His father, Dr. Bill Chambers, was a physician in our community and the family graciously donated his coat and medical bag for display. On November 30, 2011, the history wall was unveiled during a special reception and ceremony that recognized all the physicians, retired physicians, and deceased physicians' families that made the history wall possible. Countless patients and guests are enlightened daily with the beautiful history wall on the third floor. On January 18, 2011, at the regular board meeting of the Monroe Foundation, a presentation was made by Paul Clark and Dr. Frank Biondalillo on the construction of a children's emergency department within the walls of Monroe. The Palmer Klein Children's Express had served Marion County well, but it was now time to increase our services for the 25,000 children coming through our emergency department doors annually. 
the foundation board was asked to raise $2 million and they unanimously and enthusiastically approved this project. George Kirkland became their chair in 2012 and his leadership helped close out the campaign. In just two years, $2 million was pledged through signature gifts, community events, and employee support. Construction began on the Children's Emergency Department in March 2012. The family-friendly, nature-themed facility has eight exam rooms, triage and x-ray rooms, a nurse's station, and a beautiful lobby which was donated through an anonymous gift. On August 9, 2013, a grand opening reception and tour was held for our donors and all were thrilled to see how the children of Marion County would receive care when brought to Monroe Regional Medical Center's Children's Emergency Department. Because of you, Monroe Regional Medical Center is a better place to provide high quality and compassionate care. Because of you, over $12 million has been raised for capital projects that serve our patients. Because of you, student nurses are able to finish their training. Because of you, our babies and children's emergency needs are met. Because of you, we can meet our mission statement.